Hello and welcome to the only quintessential Monster Hunter tier list that you'll ever need until Iceborne. We'll do the Iceborne one next, okay? Now listen, just finished Monster Hunter for the first time. Overall thoughts, first of all, loved it. Not kidding. I loved it. I loved it more than I expected. I, I don't know why I put off playing through it this long. Loved the game. Now, I'm not going to compare it to Souls a bunch. Because that's not right. It's not fair. And I know people hate when you do that. But I will just say, coming from Souls and loving all of those, I think it helped me enjoy this game. I'm not kidding. Because it does feel kind of similar with the big heavy weighted attack animations and the big emphasis on boss fights. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is Burpa on this side. So, I resonated with it big time. It took me a few days, two or three days in, maybe the third day in, I was like, okay, this kicks ass. I was on board. I understood it. It felt less clunky. And then I pretty much loved it all the way through to the end. And I plan to do the DLC. Magster is bringing up a point I am about to mention, though. So, I think I am at like... I'm not going to go as low as an 8 out of 10, like surplus. I think it's a 9. I think it's a 9 out of 10. And here's my only things that I think could make the game a little bit better. Especially if we're talking about the new sequel, well not sequel, but like the next one coming out, right? Just a few things, okay? My favorite things of this game, 100% was finding the new monsters and seeing the unique designs and then figuring out how to fight him and doing the boss fight. That was the best thing about this game. Best thing, okay? I think the hunting, like tracking them down, they need to lean into it a little more. It's like, it, it almost feels like it's just like halfway there. It's like there as something you got to kind of just do as a chore before you find them especially later game when you like you're on to the whole formula and you just got to go through the motions and find x number of evidence until it finally lets you find out where it is i think they need to lean into it more make it a little bit more engaging and fun and i don't know maybe even more an emphasis on the hunting especially if the next one is gonna be open world okay now this brings me to my next point with what magster was saying okay like I just said, my favorite thing about the game was seeing the diverse monsters and how weird and different they all are and unique, right? So it did start to feel like somewhere a little past midway through until the end, it just became dragon, 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 dragon. And I do get it. Like I get like, where do you go from there? It's just like bigger and bigger dragons, right? Like where do you go from there? And so if in my own head, now, again, I'm not comparing it to Souls games, but I'm just saying in my own head and my personal tastes, I don't think it's dethroned the Souls games just because there's a little bit more variety in the stuff that you're fighting in Souls games. You know what I mean? I don't even think any of these bosses in this game were bad, but it did feel, it started to feel like a lot of dragons just a lot of big dragons and i think it's partly because in souls games you've got the variety of humanoid bosses too you've got like knights or human type things you know what i mean and that doesn't really make sense in this game because you're monster hunting it's like i'm not saying that they should put humanoid bosses in i'm just saying i almost would prefer them to like get even just weirder and more creative with the monsters than just like bigger, badder dragon. I want more. Make make me walk around a corner and there's a huge wall that's just a monster somehow. I don't know. I literally don't know. I just I don't want it to just turn into dragon, 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 dragon. You know what I mean? So that's one thought I did have. I know Magster was kind of poking fun at it. I don't think it got that bad, but it is something I thought while playing. It just turned into like dragon, 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 especially at the end when you got to find the three elder dragons and then the other dragon. It's like four dragons in a row. 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So that's just something to keep in mind. And in, so that brings me to this. What's it to you? That brings me to this. What I'm hoping to see out of Iceborne, I haven't looked it up. I haven't watched any gameplay. I'm hoping for some more creative stuff. I'm hoping for some more creative stuff. Not just bigger ice dragons. Sure, you can give me an ice dragon, but give me a bunch of other weird stuff. That's part of the fun, dude. Is finding the weird thing and then it puffs up and floats around and you're like, what the, what am I looking at? That's part of the fun. And then I will say, I also, I do agree with uh, Surplus. I think the UI is a little bit, it's a little convoluted. It, it feels like it's, you know, it's rooted in like kind of MMO style UI, which makes sense with the multiplayer emphasis. But it took a while to figure out what was going on. Once I started figuring out what was going on, it wasn't as bad. And that's why I think if you critique this, a bunch of diehards in the community get mad at you. I've seen that before. But it's true. It's not that intuitive. It is a little clunky, especially to newcomers. I just have to say it. So with that said, even all of those complaints... Wait, I have one more. I have one more. Do you remember when I said I just killed that final boss? And I went... Remind me to tell you about this scene right here when it this whole long fight build up and then when I hit him in the toe and he died, right? I have one more thing that I think would make this game cooler. One thing that would make Monster Hunter World or Iceborne cooler is a big death animation. A big death animation. I couldn't put my finger on this until like past the midway point of the game. But there was something that felt off when you'd be fighting this huge epic monster and the music's going and these slamming in the ground and stuff, right? And then you finally land that final blow and it just goes like everything cuts off. Like the music just like stops. It turns into that quick little other scene and it just falls over. It's very anticlimactic. It's very anticlimactic. I want something like when I finally hit the final blow, instead of just going click and then he's dead and the music turns off make it latch on to it and do some big ass thing and cut its head off or some shit you know what i'm saying that's just in some way lean in to the final blow man it feels like very anticlimactic it does it does i think that might be a hot take but it's it's true it's true go back and watch now that I've said that, and I think you might agree, okay? That's it has nothing to do with family friendly, bro. That has nothing to do with it. It doesn't need to get bloody and gory or anything. If if I can do a move that makes me jump up and cut down its back, do something like that for the final blow. I'm just saying it's anticlimactic the way it goes down now. It's not that it's not satisfying. I just feel like it could be improved on. It's not even a critique as much as it's like it could be improved. Now, with that said, all of those little tiny nitpicks aside, I'm at a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I know you're going to try to find a reason to rebuttal each thing I said, and that's fine. But I'm at a 9 out of 10. I absolutely loved the game. It's up there with some of my favorites now. It is. I'm very excited to see Iceborne, and I'm very excited to see the next game. Okay, 9 out of 10. There were times I was at a goddamn 10 out of 10. All right? Loved it. It was a great recommendation. It's in It's in my list of favorites. I had a really good time. It was a unique spin on the big boss game. I just really liked it. And it's almost so obvious. Like, it's just so simple. Kill the monster. Get the parts. Upgrade and forge. Do it again. It's just so addicting, and it's so fun. Okay? Let's dive into this. Are you ready? Trey. Who's this? Type this guy's name in the chat. Try to do it as quick as you can. This is going to be a messy tier list, dude. I don't remember these names. I don't remember these names. So which... I'm not... You guys, I'm not going to know who this is. I'm not going to know who any of these are. So this is the great... Ja okay. This is the great Jagras. This is early in the game. Maybe they're going to go kind of in order. We'll see. This is the Komodo dragon looking guy, right? 
This is the Komodo dragon looking guy at the beginning in the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Great Jagrussi. Yeah. Now, I'm going to be ranking these like I always do, you guys. Um, we're not going to be ranking them on just difficulty or anything like that. We're going to be ranking them on just how cool and memorable and sure the difficulty weighs in. You know, sure. But it's not just about how hard. That's not what this is. Okay. I think this is a cool introduction to the game. This is like one of the first ones you see when you go out there. And it is cool that you see him swallow something and he's got the big old belly. It's cool. This is like the first introduction to like, oh, damn, they interact with the environment and they like change and stuff. It's cool. It's obviously not that crazy and epic because it's like one of the first ones, but it's cool. He doesn't do much, but I think it's a solid introduction. I'm going to go B. I'm going to go B. I feel like the, the beauty of this game, though, all the way through is it, it ramps up so steadily that like sure in retrospect the jagras seems underwhelming but not when you're first playing through the game okay now type this one who's this who's this guy and then dude type the next ones leading up We're, i'm just gonna go in order so we'll get a head start on it if you know it type it ahead the rabadown which one is this Spinny bone one? Oh, this is the guy that's got like the spikes all over him and he turns into the wheel and he like rolls around and stuff. Where do we find this guy first? It was in like the, I think I first fought him in the rotty, the rotted veil, right? This is the spinny, this is the spinny bone man. Yeah. Once again, I think it's dope. I think the spines are cool. I think it's cool how you can knock them off. And then he, doesn't he do the thing where he like went in underground and like got his spines back? Like that was dope. I'm going to be ranking a lot of these off the design. I just love the way they look, man. This is a cool one. It wasn't, it wasn't particularly challenging, at least for when I was there. It's cooler than the Jagras. So I'm going to go A. I like it. I like the spininess, and I like how he rolls around, and I like the sound it makes when you knock him off. You know? So the next one's the Great Gyros. Why don't I remember that? Oh, it's like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't like this one that much. I don't love this one. I think it's a cool switch up. So this, again, I think was the Rotted Veil, too. Right? Is at least where I remember seeing it a bunch. It almost looks like a cobra snake, but on the body of, like, an iguana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I didn't think this one was that cool, man. I, I don't remember it doing anything that unique. It's kind of neat that it's like a snake lizard thing. I don't know. I didn't like this one. This one didn't leave that much of an impact on me. This one was normally coming in and like helping me fight the Autogon thing. Autogaron, whatever. I, I, I don't know. I didn't see this thing do anything wild. Paral yeah, it did a bunch of paralysis on even on the Autogaron thing. I don't know it didn't leave that much of an impact i didn't think the design was that that impressive i don't think it's that cool to be honest i think it's even below the jagras i think you could get away with putting the jagras on c maybe even but i think it's cool when you first start the game and you see the jagras you know this one is like you're already kind of further in the game and it's just kind of mid i'm gonna go c it might even be d uh, we're gonna get further it might be lower. Some of these might move around. Higgins is thinking d double D on this, and I might be, I might be there in a minute. I'm gonna go C for now, and we'll see how it unfolds. Legiana, correct me if I'm wrong as I go. Legiana, though, right? Now let me remind myself. The Legi, oh, dude. Now let me tell you about the legiana this was the f i'm not kidding i remember it the legi legiana legiana not the legiana this was the one in the the coral area right the coral highlands this was the first one that i fought that it clicked where up until this point i was like yeah this game is fun I'm having a good time. This was the one where I was like, oh man, that was so satisfying. This was the first one that felt like it took me a while, 
like not dying over and over, but the fight was like long and I kept having to track it down. Dude, this one clicked for me. I don't know if like the, the design isn't that cool. Like it's just like a mini ice dragon. He's cool looking, but, but something about where they put this one clicked with me. And it was like, this was the turning point for me, the league Guiana, where I was like, this game slaps. Okay. It's definitely going to go a tier for me. It's going to go above. It's going above that. Okay. It is. I, I enjoy, it's more memorable. I'm going to remember it more than that. It's a, okay. What do we got next? Now I know this. I don't need any help. This is the Autogaron. I fought this one more than I fought any of the other ones because I got a bone to pick with this guy. No, not really. It's because I did the upgrade path where I had to get all the materials from this guy. So I fought this guy like a million times. Honestly, he's not one of my favorites. It might be because I had to fight him that many times and I got tired of it. I just don't think he's that cool. I don't think he's that cool. I think the design is kind of cool. Like he's like a weird wolf dog with mange with like bleed attacks. But the fight itself isn't that cool. The fight itself isn't that cool. He hits you with the bleed. The bleed's the only thing to really worry about. And then he starts jumping up and down on the walls. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. He is a weasel. He's annoying to fight. I, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan. I, it might be because I fought him a bunch. Maybe too much, but I don't know. Didn't love it. I didn't love it. He's okay. I like that you can run up the mushrooms on the wall and jump and land on them. That's the other thing about this game. The more I played and the more it made sense, the better it got. Like, I played the first two or three days without even realizing that I could, like, intentionally mount them or use the environment. You know what I mean? So when you start to learn that you can, like, run up and jump onto them, it just gets so much cooler. The more you know, it gets cooler. He you ate your food from the office fridge even though you put your name on it. Yeah, he is kind of like that. I don't think he's that cool. I think he's going to go see. He's above the snake thing. He's the snake guy's coming down to D already. He's like the least memorable, you guys. That's silly. Snake guy comes down, Autogaron, whatever, goes to see. Okay. What's next? The Rathalos. Now, the Rathalos. I'm gonna count. I mean, did they do the different Rathaloses in this list, or did they just do like one for all? Let me see. No, they did them all. Okay, so I'm gonna count this as the first Rathalos, right? The Rathalos was cool. Okay, what's next? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The Rathalos was cool. The Rathalos is like the first kind of bigger mid-sized dragon that's not a baby dragon. Okay. But the cool thing about the Rathalos is when you fight this thing up in the forest, in the jungle, and it, sm it slams into that wall, and it creates the flood, and then like landslides them off the waterfall, that was dope. The first time I had that happen was so dope. In fact, the first time it happened, it didn't even flush him off, so I didn't know that it did anything else. But then when we came back to fight him again to grind... It knocked him off, and it was so cool. And then you can jump like three miles down. It was so dope. It was so cool, dude. It, that alone elevates the Rathalos. The only thing that kind of de-elevates the Rathalos is then you just get a bunch of variations of Rathalos. Like, look, here they come. You know what I mean? I don't even know if I'm going to rank them differently, to be honest, because they're like the same, but just with different elemental stuff, right? But the Rathalos is dope. The Rathalos is going to go. Uh, it's The Rathalos is either the highest B or the lowest A. But we're going to run into way cooler ones. We got to save some of these good spots. Yeah, I'm not complaining about the subspecies. I'm just saying like. I'm not, I'm not going to rank the different Rathalos is that different. I don't think. You know what I mean? So like I'm going to put Rathalos as a B. Like, if we were doing a difficulty list, then, yeah, they'd be all over the place. But, like, so I'm going to just put the Rathaloses at a B. Is that all of them? Did I get them all? I think, uh, is it just the two? I thought there was one more. Whatever. Now, 
Oh, the Azure Rathalos. I do. I did put him there. That I remember fighting this one too. I had to grind him. They do kind of have different moves then. I'm just going to put them both on B. The Rathalos goes to B. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is the Diablos. Now the Diablos. The Diablos is sick. The Diablos is sick as fuck. It is. The Diablos has a cool as shit design. By the way, these like Aztec Mayan looking representations of them are awesome as well. I like that in the game too. This is a cool one. The design of this one, I think, is awesome with the horns, and I love how it can collapse the sand pit, and I love how it goes underground, and it moves like a tremor, like grappoids. This is dope. That's what I'm talking about. When, when I'm saying like most of the fun was finding the new ones and seeing what they do, this guy is like peak that. Because he's going underground, he's doing all this weird stuff, he looks cool as shit. I love this one. Wildspire Wastes represent. This one's dope. This one's going higher up. It's going higher up, dude. I, I like this more than both these. I don't think I can go S. Maybe we do once we get further. I don't know. Right now, he's going high A. Diablos is cool as hell. Cool as hell. Right, and then you get the female version. The Black Diablos, which I'm just going to, again, I'm going to do the same thing. We'll put them at the top together. They're, they're just so cool, dude. That was a good one. That one's double A. All right. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, Zora Magdara. Oh, dude, you guys are now. Now, I didn't even think this was going to be on here. This might be a hot take. This might be a hot take. I, I wonder what you guys are going to think of this one. This is going to be a hot take. I, I think this is like the worst one. I think it's like the worst one in the game. I'm not kidding. I think it's bad. Don't like it. Don't like it. In fact, you know, I told you my buddy Zach just started playing. I think he just killed uh, the Barith and maybe the one after that. And I'm like ready. I was going to warn him when he gets to this part. You know, I was going to be like, dude, this is the only part I didn't like. This is the only part I didn't like. It's the only part of the game that, like, I feel like if I started a new playthrough, I'd be like, oh, I didn't like it, dude. I, I, I like the idea. I like the idea of, like, it's even bigger and it's so big that we're, like, running around on it like a landmass. But I just felt like it was so underwhelming. It, like, it felt like it just wanted to be a big spectacle fight, but it just wasn't really that cool. It was the most scripted, the most spectacle, just kind of like load the cannons, load the cannons. And then even when you're on its back, the coolest thing that happened is the other dragon came in to try to mess with you and you got to just hit the lava things. Dude, I even almost was going to upgrade to get this one piece of armor that I needed some more Zora Magdaros materials. I'm like, no, thanks. I'm not doing that again. I didn't want to do it again. Oh, so that's not a hot take then? See, you guys, I fit right in with the community then. Because, yeah, I thought it was lame. The, it was just, it it took away everything that makes the game cool. And it just turned it into just mindless, didn't like it. I didn't like it. I think if anything in the game is an F, the Zora goes to the F, unfortunately. Now, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad that I'm like, you know, I mean, I gave the game a 9 out of 10. It was a very small part of the game. And at least all it really did was serve to like get you from this place to this place. It wasn't a big thing. It's like I even D maybe, but I'm going to go F just because I think it's the worst. I think it's the worst. Okay. What's next? Let me see what you got here. The Rathian. Uh, which one's Rathian again? I remember that name a bunch. Well, I feel like I fought this a lot, didn't I? Where did I first fight the Rathian? Oh. Wait, is the Rathian the one that causes the flood? Where do you fight the first Rathian again? Where did I fight it the first time? Yeah, I think I got it kind of confused, didn't I? I feel like the Rathian is the one that I first fought 
up at that nest thing that broke the flood. But you can find the the uh, other one there too, though. Because they were fighting each other there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is... I kind of got this confused with the other one. The uh, the Rathalos. Not the Rathi, not the Rathalos, but the Rathian. Um, where did I put the other ones again? Yeah, I don't know. I Honestly, this is kind of what I meant to do. You know what I meant to do? I meant to put the Rathian at the high B. Which means the Rathalos... The Rathalos is cool, but I didn't like it as much as the Rathian. I feel like the Rathian goes below because I gave it the bonus points for the Flood. I feel like the those can go below the Rathian. So the Rathian is better. But still, I don't I don't know. It's just going to be B still. It's not another dragon. It is cool. So this is the one that's like it's cool the first time you find it in the nest. That ancient forest guy even has to tell you to go track it down high up. And it's like, it's cool. The buildup is cool. I don't know. I, I like the buildup more than these other ones, at least. It's just going to be B. It's another dragon that goes in B. It's not bad. Oh, my God. I forgot about this guy. I forgot all about this guy. This is the the Kulu Yaku, right? The Kulu Yaku? I forgot about this guy, dude. Now, now I'm one of these is gonna be a hot take, I guarantee it. But I think this is more interesting than some of the dragons. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I think it's more interesting than some of the dragons. This is the one that's like an ostrich. It's like an emu. And it like it even can pick up the egg, dude. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I keep getting the Rathalos and the Rathian names mixed up. I know. I silly me. There's two different dragons that start with Rathia, Rathian, Rathalos. I'm sorry. Yes, the Rathalos is the one that caused the flood, not the Rathian. Got it. Yes. But anyway, they're both on the same level for me either way. But this guy, dude, the Kulu Yaku, am I saying that right? This is dope. The Fat Chocobo. This is dope. It's not that hard and it's early game, but it's more inspired than some of the dragons. I'm just saying. It's got more going on. This is still in that stage where I was like, what am I looking at now? What is this? And it can pick up the egg and it would like block attacks if you hit the egg. Dude, it's dope. This one's dope. This one's not bad, man. This one's going to go... I'm telling you, this is going to go... It's either the highest B... I'm, dude, I'm tempted to put it in the A. I'm tempted to put it in the low A. I, I'm tempted to put it in the low A, guys. I, it's not like it's hard. It's not like it's that epic or memorable. But it, there's more to it than some of the other ones. It's more creative. Bird up, baby. It's more creative. So I'm going to do that. Like, why can't they give me... Just, they just need to get... Like my humanoid thing I was saying. We don't need humans. But like, what about like a big toad? What about like a big old dragonfly? What about like just find insects and make them bigger? Or like... They got to just get more variety. I'm down with the end. If he's a big beam, then there you go. He goes to A. That's good. That's good. What's next? Start typing him again. What's next? The pink Rathian? Is that what it is? Yeah, he's going to go the same. Pink Rathian. We killed him. We grinded him for some reason. I'm trying to remember why. He's okay. He's okay. I, got, I don't got much to say about him. Same as the other Rathian, but he's pink. You know. In fact, I think when I did that fight, it kept like dropping in like other ones. Like he was fighting three dragons. Now, the Dadagamama? Is this the Dadagama? What's the Dadagama again? <laughs> oh, this guy. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. This guy reminds me of like the magma lizard things from uh, Elden Ring, you know? If he had a sword. They got a big toad? Well, okay, in the franchise, but not in this game. This is the only game I played, so I don't know. This guy's okay. He's not that cool. 
He's a big old fat monitor lizard looking floppy snorlaxy thingy. He's cute, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It didn't leave a big impact on me. It really didn't. Um, I don't think it's bad. He's got a huge mouth. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't love it. I don't love it. He's okay. He's just kind of mid, honestly. Job of the Hut style. Uh, I don't got much to say. I really don't have much to say. He's probably C. Honestly, he might even be D. He's gonna go C. He might be tied with the Cobra. Well, we've got more, more of a spread here than I expected. I was worried, but we got it pretty spread out. Yeah. Okay, what's after the Dotagama? What's after the Dotagama? This is oh, this is the catfish. The uh, I know this one. This is the catfish. This is the Jura Juriadas. What's it called? Juriadas. Jury. Uh, jur the jury is out. Juria Juriada Juridas. Right. I think Juridas. Juriadas. Geriatric. Geriatus. Guess what? Guess what I'm gonna say about this one. Oh, my bad. It's the Lava, Lava Soya. Yes. But it's the catfish one. I just got the name mixed up. What's a Juriatus again, then? James got me twisted, bro. That's why I need a break. This is the the Lavasiath. Lavasiath. The catfish one. Guess what I'm going to say about this one? This is the Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> what would you do, Higgins, if right when you said that? I hit a button and Jerry Seinfeld's face popped up on him. What would you do? Oh, this is the lava catfish. Okay. Well, then listen. Now I get it. That's why I got it confused. Because you're saying the Juriatus is the catfish and this is the lava catfish. So I, I'm going to... Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Is this him? Where's the other Juriatus? Let me see. He should look the same, shouldn't he? Uh, both monsters are not bad, actually. Um, ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I don't care about the lava one. No, you know what? This goes higher than you think, you guys. So, we're going to start with the Juriatus, whatever. Let me see how you said it. Juratotus. I love this one. I love this one. Because, once again, it is unique. This one is swimming around, but it can also come out and walk around. It can also wrap around another monster and do like a python constrict move. One of the coolest things that I remember seeing in the game. I love this one. I think this one is so cool. This is so cool. The lava one, yeah, just like a lava reskin, but even the fact that it's swimming through lava is pretty dope. It's pretty dope. So this one goes high, dude. This one's high up. It's above the bird for me. It might be above the spike guy for me. This is an A tier. Lava lava tier. Uh, I'm just going to do that thing where we match it to put it there. But like, whatever. I love this one. Super memorable one for me. I liked the, the uniqueness of it compared to these other ones. You know, you've got like 12 dragons. But then you've got a catfish that's swimming around and walking around and constricting things. Dope. I think it's sick. I think it's sick. Okay, now I moved things around, bro. You got to name them again. I'm sorry. I moved our list around. I do not hate Juratotus. Maybe maybe people hate him. Like, if you got to grind him a lot, he's an annoying one to grind. I don't know. I didn't really grind him. I think he was so cool. I think it was a spectacle, and it was very unique. It was. This is the Devilo. Okay, so the Devilo, I don't know, man. I didn't, I don't think he's that cool. The, here's the thing. Here's the pros and cons. The pros, it's cool that he's kind of this like wandering monster that's like this big, oh shit, when he shows up and he can actually, no, nah, man, he's cool. Because remember how he can like pick up another one and then he attacks you with that one? That is dope. That alone gets the Devilo a whole tier, is the fact that he picks up other ones and throws them at you and slams them into you. I don't think he looks that cool, though. He's kind of just, a, you know, the dark purple T-Rex with the spikes, the pickle boy, the pickle monster. I don't know where to put him. 
I forgot to show you what he looks like. This guy. I don't know where to put him. Uh, it, it is cool. It is cool that he's like a big oh shit moment though. I do like that. Um, I feel like the Devilo. I mean, we talked about the Devilo a lot. I feel like he's got to be pretty talked about in the community. Uh, I got to go B. I think he's cooler than the Rathians and the Rathalos because I like that he can pick things up and slam them and I like that he can invade you. Yeah, he's like purpley, isn't he? The Devilo? Why do I remember him being purpley, right? Let me look. Yeah, this picture doesn't do it justice. He's not green like that. He's like, he's purpley. He's definitely not green like this. Like dark purple. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to go B. He's high B. I don't think I love him or hate him, but he's high B. High B. Now we got the Oregon. The Oregame. The Oregon. The Aragorn. Let me see this bad boy. Oh, yeah. I fought this guy. Okay. This is the guy. He's kind of like this one with the spikies. Kind of. But instead of the spikies, you've got the hard kind of armored plate things. And don't they fall off of him too? I feel like there's little bombs that come off of him or something. I, th I think they do. The little pieces come off. And he's got the armored back. I don't know. He was okay. He did a similar thing where he turns into a ball and he like rolls around the arena like Sonic the Hedgehog. You know? He's okay. I don't know. It is. It, it was cool. I didn't know. I don't know. It was kind of mid, I guess. It was cool, but it wasn't as cool at that point in the game. I feel like he's going to go... The Great Jagras may need to come down, dude. I, I, I kind of think it might. I kind of feel like Jagras is going to come down to C. And this is going to go to low B. Because he's got at least some unique things. He does the rolly thing. He's got bombs that fall off of him. I don't know. He was okay. I didn't hate him. I I feel bad bringing the Jagras down. But it's just hard to compare to the later game ones. But just know that this is not a slant at the Jagras. Because when you're new to the game and you see the Jagras, it's sick. Okay? Now, is this the Beetlejuice? The Bagel Juice? This is it? The Bagel Goose? This is it? Oh, yeah. Now, this guy... What do you think I'm going to say about this guy? This is the kind of creativity I want to see. This is dope. The B, yeah, the B-52 bomber, bro. This is dope. This is creative. He's weird looking. He's got all those weird skin flaps hanging off of him. They turn red. He drops bombs on you. He crash kamikaze dives into you. It is a very cool one. It is a very cool one. I like when he flies over you and he like goes like this. It kind of shakes them off and they land next to you. They're like, duh, 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 duh. this is a cool one. This is a very cool one, bro. I love this one. Uh, we just fought it yesterday, didn't we? We did fight it a bit yesterday. This is going to be A tier, and honestly, it's up here probably at the top. This is going to be... That, may, that man, that might go S. That might be the first S tier. I don't... I got, I'm going to go S. I'm going S on the Beetlejuice. Yeah, it's going to be S. It's so cool. It's way different than these other ones. They got creative with it. Like, that's what I want. I just want more like that. More like the catfish. More like the Kuli Yaku. Like, just get weird with it, bro. Give me an emu that's massive. Get weird with it. Give me an octopus on land. Just get super weird with it, you know? Yeah, S tier on that guy. S tier for sure. What the hell is it? Ooh, I didn't fight this. Ooh, we got to one I didn't fight. I've seen this. This is the unicorn thing, isn't it? I didn't fight this thing. This is Kieran. Thunder unicorn. Damn, we missed a unicorn? 
We missed a unicorn. And it's even a unique monster. Oh, that looks sick, bro. That looks sick, dude. We're going to have to fight him eventually. I'm going to look, I'm gonna, I haven't fought him, so full disclosure. Chat, if you have, you can weigh in. If he totally sucks, let me know. But I feel like based on design alone, he's going A tier. Based on des design alone, he's in the A tier. Because he's a unicorn, bro. That's at least some variety here. I wish I I wish I found that. It's a very annoying fight, you think. Yeah, I left out a unicorn. That's a bummer. I don't know where he would have been. I didn't see that anywhere. That's weird, right? But doesn't feel like a monster. Uh oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the chat weigh in, but I'm gonna go high B. I'm gonna go high B because a unicorn is unique. It's unique. That's dope. Is this the Nerg? You guys, is this the Nerg Agante? Gotta be. This has gotta be the Nerg Agante, right? Here into Elder Dragon too, huh? Okay. That's the Nerg. Now, now we're talking about the one that killed me the most in the whole game. So the Nerg killed me more than any other one the entire game, without a doubt. This guy took us a couple days. This guy had it, uh, had us grinding other shit. This guy is the reason I switched from the Switchblade Axe, the Switch Axe, to the Dual Blades. I couldn't do it. This is my first Elder Dragon. That is correct. This is a legendary dragon fight. This is a top tier legendary dragon fight. One that sits among the ranks of Souls Dragons, in my opinion. Not just because he was hard, but the entire thing. When you first get there, you're in the crystal area. He's there. The way that the spikes change colors when he's about to do other moves. And that one move where he goes up in the air and slams into the ground and glides towards you, scrapes along the ground, that move alone gets this guy a whole nother rank. A whole nother rank. The Nerg is absolutely S tier in this game. Legendary fight. It's the top one so far. Absolutely legendary. This is a legendary dragon boss fight, not just in this game. Top tier. Hard to forget that fight. Breaking the crystals. The crystals can fall on him. You can jump off the crystals. The arena's dope. It's It just is epic. He smashes that huge wall later. Remember that? It's, it's S tier. He's at the top. He's at the top. Who the hell is this? Yo, read us some in a row, buddy. I know the next one. I'll jump to the next one because I know it. So this is the... What's his name? The, this is the fire guy. This is the fire guy. The Tiri, Tilios. What was his name? T, the Teostra. That's what it was. The Teostra. I think he's dope. I think the Teostra's dope. I do. I think the Teostra was cool. I mean, we needed a big fire one, and I think the arena and everything elevated this one. I didn't even know that fire area was out there until you follow the path to this guy. He's got the explosion move that is just as epic as the Nerg Slam. It's cool. I thought this guy was cool. He was a little easy, but I think everything after the Nerg, it feels a little easy. Everything after the Nerg starts to feel a little easy, you know? I liked it though. I thought it was cool. And by the time you're in the final phase and he comes back to the lava arena and it's exploding and the ground is like moving. This is a good one. This is a good one. It's a good one. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. We also killed him in that devil may cry event. The code red. So this guy's going to go. 
I'm going to go high B. And this looks like another version of them, like a subspecies. B. I'm going to go high B. I think he's even above these other ones in the B. We might put, maybe we keep the Devilo there just because he's a menace. He's tied with the Devilo. He's tied with the Devilo. Okay. So now I'm going to skip again to this one. Why'd you put Lunastra in the same tier? She's a different monster. Which one? This one? It looks the same. So, well, you heard me say it. You can correct me. So if this is a different monster, I can't rank it then because we didn't fight Lunastra. I saw the picture side by side. And so I just figured that it was a subspecies of this one. You know, because I didn't I didn't fight Lunastra. So we're not going to do Lunastra. That's fine. I didn't know that. The picture is exactly the same. I thought it was like these other subspecies, you know. But so then, uh, the Kushaladora. Oh. Hit the deck. This is the wind one? I didn't think that would be the picture for the wind one. So this is the wind one. Also, honestly, a cool one. Honestly, a cool one. I don't know if it's as memorable as the Nurg, but I did like, even though I kind of complained about a lot of dragons, I did like the elemental, the elemental ones. They took it a step above just like, here's the dragon that has wind elemental damage. Here's the fire one. Like it was a, it was a cut above that. And they had all the tornado moves and the wind stuff. I don't know, man. This is cool. I did like this one. It was cool looking, and the wind was a cool switch up. It was annoying to fight, though. It was annoying to fight. It really was. Even when I got the low-level wind resistance, it was annoying to fight. Probably not if you're upgraded. But it was a cool one. It's above these. It's above... I think I'm going to go A. It's a memorable one. I'm going to go A. It's above these... Yeah, somewhere right there. Somewhere like mid-A is where I'm going to go with that. Very cool. Very cool. I like the take on it. Now, this is the poison guy. We just fought it. Who is it, man? The Val Hazak. This is the Val Hazak. Now, I just got done talking about how cool this guy was. We just fought this guy today, right before this tier list. This guy, now, kind of a mixed bag, I guess. Because the spectacle was dope. The cutscene was top tier. The style of the dragon himself, the design, top tier. The environment you fight the dragon in, top tier. The fight itself, a little bit lower. He was a little bit too easy. Now, yeah, I did have the flame damage, which is his weakness. Apparently, so maybe it was a little bit easier for me. A little bit too easy. He was a first trier, but the way that he was sucking up the souls of the other beasts around and everything else was really cool. Really cool. Definitely a memorable one for me. He's going to go high up, you guys. He is. He's going to go... Am I crazy to put him S? I mean, listen, the fight wasn't that cool, but his design is cool. His design is cool. I, I'm going to put him low S. He's probably going to be the lowest S just because he was easy. Not too much going on. Too, you know, he's too easy. Not, not much of a challenge, I guess. Maybe if we fought him first he, before I upgraded more, he would have been the harder one. You know what I mean? But nah, dude, he's cool. He's very cool. I'm going to go low tier S. So we know we're not doing this one because... Uh, I didn't do it, I guess. So there's two that we didn't do. Who's this? Zeno Jiva. Oh, this is the final one. This is the final one. This is the final boss of the game. Zeno Jiva. I didn't think it was that great. I'm saying it now. I didn't think it was that great. Thought it was okay. I didn't think it was that bad. I thought some of the moves, the arena looked cool. The design looked pretty cool. Huge ass dragon. But what did you expect at this point? It was just going to be a bigger dragon. The moves where he would slam into the ground, crack it, break, 
mm, and then it would pop up. That was cool. But the fight itself, I don't know, a little bit underwhelming. It was very long and drawn out, but not very challenging. Just long. I didn't like this. I didn't like the fight very much, but I do think the design was pretty cool. It wasn't bad. I don't think he's going S, though, unfortunately. I think I'm going to put him as a solid... You guys, he's either high B or low A. What do you guys think? He's high B or low A. I, it wasn't that cool. Listen, the design was, and some of the moves were, with the big old beams. And I like when he would do the big one that, like, drained his energy. Then he had to lay down. Like, that was cool. But I don't know, man. I just feel like at the end game, at that point in the game, I was just like, yep, bigger dragon. Okay, let's go. I don't know. It left a little bit to be desired for the final for me. Because the whole rest of the game slaps so much. I'm going to go high B. I'm going to go high B. I'm going to go high B. Now, what are you saying? This is Leshen? I didn't fight a Leshen then. Yeah, we'll have to go back and do the ones I didn't do. So this is definitely is not the quintessential list as we found out. But So I didn't do the Leshen. I didn't do this one. And then the next one is, this is the, this, I'm assuming this one's the ancient lesson too. I'll put that back there. This is the Pookie Pookie. I know the Pookie Pookie. Of course I know the Pookie Pookie. Now the Pookie Pookie, again, I kind of feel the same thing about the Pookie Pookie as I do about the bird, the Kaluuya Koo thing. It's at least creative and weird and different. And it does that big old fart move. I like how the big tail would change colors. It was all rainbow. And then it'd be like. I thought that was cool. I thought that was cool. The Pookie's dope. The Pookie's unique. And it's a very creative monster. It's not that hard. It's early game. But you know what? It's going to go up in the A's. It's going to be up there with the catfishes. It's up there with the catfishes. Lots of A's, you guys. Pookie's one of your favorites. Well, there you go. Yeah, Pookie was great. Nothing against the Pookie. I loved it. I did it all for the Pookie. Now, who is this? Oh, the Ancient Legend was from the Witcher collab. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And then, so that means this is the Behemoth. From Final Fantasy collab. Oh, so some of these are collabs that I haven't done. Okay. So what is this one? I don't recognize this one either. I recognize this one. And this is the Toby Kadashi. So we're doing it next. This is the Toby Kadashi, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's, again, one of the more creative ones. That's the thing is the game starts out really diverse and strong with the creativity. Because, like, at this point in the game, it's not just all about bigger. You've got your Pookie Pookies. You got your Kula Koos and stuff. You got your Toby Kadashis. These like other smaller mid-sized ones that are sleek looking and pretty and unique with some electricity damage on the Toby Kadashi. I had, to, I had to farm this guy a little bit to get one of the things I did earlier. But the Toby Kadashi is a cool one. It's like a cat fox looking thing in the forest. I think it's tight. I think it's tight. So the Toby Kadashi goes, I think it's going to, honestly, it's going to go A again. It's going to go A again, probably right next to the Pookie Pookie. We'll put Pookie above it because the fart. The fart's funny. So this is the Kolv Taroth, a siege monster, you say? This is like a 16-player thing. Okay, I didn't do that. Can't do that. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. I recognize this, though. What's his name? This is the... Uh, this is the Barith, right? Yeah, this is the Barith. This is the Barith when you, I think you first get to him in the Wild Spire Wastes. He's cool. He's got the big old armored head. And this is the guy that I saw getting choked out by the catfish once. That was dope. This is the first kind of bigger ground one ever since you leave the jungle. You do have to do the Ajanath, right? Did we not do the Ajanath in this list? He's got to be here, right? Yeah, I think that's him right there coming up. Okay. 
I like this one. He gets covered in the mud and stuff. He goes down in there like a water buffalo. You can't hit him on the head. It'll bounce off unless, I guess, you're way sharp, maybe. I don't know. He was okay. He was cool. He's going to be high B. I already know where I'm going with it. Okay? He's he's in the Bs. Uh, maybe down here. He's kind of lower B now that I think about it. But he's cool, though. I like him. It's at least different. He's in the B. This is a testament to the game. We've only got three in the C, one in the D, one in the F. So many in A and B with some in the S. So we got a pretty good spread here. This has got to be the Anjanath. I'm not even looking it up. It's got to be the Anjanath, right? This is the T-Rex. I mean, come on, call him an Anjanath if you want, but he's a T-Rex. And he's got wings and he's got fire. You see him pretty much right away. In fact, this is the first oh shit moment. Is when you see this guy come out and start messing with you when you're trying to find the Pookie or the Toby or the Jagras. You know what I'm saying? So this is like the first kind of big, big one you see, which leaves an impact. It does. And it is a cool one, the Ajanath. It's the first one you feel like a boss when you beat it. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't know. I feel like you had to have a T-Rex in the game, right? Like, they had to get a T-Rex in there. Um, but I feel like he's a B. I feel like he's a solid B, probably right around where I put the Barath. I'll put him right above the Barath. Yeah, solid B. B. B got stretched out now. What's this guy's name, Trey? This is the guy. Give me the next two. The, the Jigglypuff guy and the Flashbang guy. In fact, these are the last two that we can do. So this is the guy, the Sisi Yaku. Yes, thank you. Excuse you. This is the guy in the Coral Highlands that does the whole Jurassic Park dino thing. I forgot what that dino is called, where it goes. But it flashbangs you. And you get hit with the war zone, Call of Duty flashbang. Which is enough to lift it a tear up because that's a cool move. That move is creative. That move is unique. And you could use that move to blind the other monster that you're fighting if you got like a three-way going on. Like I used it to help me fight this guy. I forgot his name already. This one. That was sick. So the flashbang move is cool, but the guy himself is not that great. He's going to go high C. I'll put him below the the Autogron thing. That, that looks like a good spot. He's C, but he's cool. The flashbang carries. The flashbang carries. It does. Now, the, how do I say this one? Yeah, the, the Palumu. The Palumu. Now, this might be another plot twist for you guys. Because as I've been saying, dude, with these other unique ones, the Palumu is cool as hell. Whoever came up with the Palumu needs a raise. There was some guy in their dev office that was like, you know what? I'm going to design one that puffs up with air and floats around. That is a good idea. This was weird. This was still in the meat and the beef of the game when I was like in awe at everything I was seeing. Before it just turned into more dragons. And I was just like, what is going to be next? This is dope. It's like a little mouse, little fuzzy mouse thing. I mean, it's not that little, but compared to the other ones. And then it would puff up like that. And it turns into like the god skin, the god skin noble, the big fat one. And he'd like float around in the air. It was so cool. It was very memorable to me. Very unique compared to the other ones. The dragons are cool. I know. But I'm just, I'm fucking ranking them, bro. I'm ranking them off memorability and just how unique they are. You know? I got these dragons up here too. Don't worry. So this guy is high, dude. I liked it. I think he's up here, bro. I seriously do. I want to see stuff that I've never seen before, bro. I've never seen that before. The dragons are great dragons. Yes. But I've never seen that before. Okay. Now, I don't think we can do any of these other ones. This is a variant apparently, but he's got different moves that I haven't seen. So I can't do that. This is the big 16 player one, which sounds dope. I would like to see what those big ones are like. 
This is Behemoth from Final Fantasy collab I didn't do. This is the, what is it, the Leshen you said from the Witcher collab I didn't do. Uh, so I didn't do these. Yeah. But there you go. There's the list. Let me get a zoom out now that it spread wider. There you go. There's the list. Yeah. Yeah. So all around a very, very impressive game. I loved so much about this game. Nine out of 10. There were moments. Remember how sometimes I'll be like, this game's a nine out of 10. There were moments that were a 10, but there were moments that were like, a, you know, like an eight. So I'm going to go nine. This is more like it's a nine out of 10. There were moments that were a 10, but I can't really think of moments that I was really that low as an eight. Like there was nine moments and then 10 moments. And I'm going to lean more towards the nine. But I loved this game. This game immediately turned me into a fan. Immediately. I am now a fan. I want to do Iceborne. I want, an, I want the new game when it comes out. I just loved the whole vibe. I kept saying it when we were playing, but it felt almost like big old knockout boss fights like Dark Souls, but with like a cheery, good vibe. It felt so good to go back to the hub. All the, Everyone's in a good mood. We're eating food. We're cooking food. Like, it was just a vibe, bro. It was just a vibe, Mo. Mo. It was a vibe. So I loved the game. Let's how many hours? What, what do you guys guess? How many hours did I put in? How many hours do you think I put in? I'm gonna let you guess. This was uh This is uh Part 13, so it took 13 days. Yes, I did finish, Whitney. Good to see you. How are you? 18 hours, Mo guesses. Mo hasn't been paying attention, but he's going to guess 18. Is it glad to see that you're still alive? Glad to see. Glad to see. Glad to hear. 40. Okay. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. That's close. Uh-huh. So... This has been the almost quintessential Monster Hunter tier list. All monsters ranked. Clearly, we have left some out. But you know what? That's okay. We'll come back and do another one once we're done with Iceborne. And we'll rank those as well. Maybe around that time, we can clean up some of these ones we missed. But until then, just keep hunting out there, okay? Hunter's got to hunt. Hunter's got to hunt, you guys.